in this screencast, I'll show you some basics to help you get started with your business card. So I've already had my business card 10 up template started. If you don't know how to do this, look at my other screencast that explains just how to set this up. Remember that we're going to design a business card just in this space up here. So I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit just on that space. Now, you want to make sure that you stay inside the pink and the blue guides here. For text, you want to draw a text box. You have to draw text boxes in InDesign. Type what you want, and then go to the text box tool and put in your, the rest of your things. So right here, I'm going to put technology education teacher. I'm going to draw a text box for where I work. And then how to get a hold of me. So this will be my email address. And I'm going to create a text box for my phone number here at school. So zero. Just like that. Now, what you can do here is you can click on each text box and this will just let me move it around. All right. And I can resize it with the black arrow tool and make it just so it fits. If I go too far with the black arrow tool, it cuts off and it shows me that by putting a red box right here. So I'm going to make these a little longer, make this one a little shorter here. Now, if I want to change the size of a text box, I either can double click and then use the text tool to highlight what I want and change my font properties up here. Or I can do this to a whole bunch of um, text boxes at once. I'm going to click on my email address and my phone number and I'm going to click on the text box tool and make both of those nine points so I can change both of those at once. I also can change the font that I want for those by just typing it in up here or going to the list and so I want this to be Aries Light. So I've changed these. These are nine point fonts and is Aries Light. I'm going to change this one to um, Aries Bold because that's my name and I want it to stand out. And I'm going to change these two to another font. Again, I'm going to stick with what I'm using. So I'm going to use Aries Light. And I'm going to make these 10 because they're just a little bit more important than how to contact me. This one I might just quick bump up to 13 so it really stands out. Now some other things that you can do in Illustrator is I can highlight all of these and I can use the align tools up here to align the text boxes. See how they all lined up on the left? I can line them all up center so all the boxes are centered and on the right I can do that. Notice that all the text inside didn't move. If I want to change the alignment of the text inside, click on the text box tool and I can put them all on this side. So I'm going to go with a right aligned business card here. I'm going to put my name over here with my profession or my title or what I do right underneath it. I'm going to put where I work with some white space between it. I'm going to drag this box up so it doesn't get in the way. And then I'm going to put how to contact me with where I work with Menasha High School, just like this. Now, you can see that I have this right here. I have some good white space. I can trim these boxes. Remember that text boxes don't print. Okay, and I can grab the whole group and I can move it over a little bit, just like this. Now, when you're placing your text in here, you don't want to place it too close to either your margins or your guides, because those are where you're actually going to cut the business cards. If I put this over here and I did a bad job cutting, my business card may say Alan Legac because that eye might get cut off. So you want to give yourself at least a little bit of a little bit of room that goes right here. The last thing I'll show you how to do on here is how to place an image. So Instead of copy and pasting an image or going to file open, that doesn't work in Illustrator. You have to place an image. So you go file place. And you've got to find where your image is. Mine's on the TechEd server right now. So I'm going to go to images here and I'm going to go to BlueJ right. So I have a BlueJ facing right. Your icon will change into the, a preview of what the picture looks like. So you can see my BlueJ logo looks right here. Now when I click, it looks a little pixelated because I have the display quality turned down, so don't worry about that. If you've created your own artwork, you know that it's going to be quality. If I use the black arrow tool here, it will actually cut off parts of the picture. Think of it as like cropping in Photoshop. 
to actually resize things, you need to use the transform tool, which is like using free transform in Photoshop. So I click on that and I'm going to take the corner and I'm going to scale it down a little bit. Now for this particular business card, I'm going to take the Blue Jay and I'm going to make the Blue Jay fit on the whole business card. I'm actually even going to make it pop off the business card just a little bit like this. Now, my business card here has a couple problems. You can see I'm going to cut on the pink, so my my Blue Jay here is going to cut get cut off on the top. That's okay on the top one, but when I copy this page, this image down here, it's going to go into my next business card, so I don't want that. So I'm going to take the black arrow tool, and I'm going to click on the Blue Jay, and I'm going to move that down. So I'm actually cropping that or cutting that off. And so I won't have this little, I don't know, spiky hair or feathers showing up on my business card when I copy it down here. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, so I'm going to cut it off. I'm just cropping the Blue Jay a little bit, and I'm going to move it up here. So now I've made the Blue Jay fit into my business card design, which is kind of cool. It has some contrast. It stands out. The problem I have now is that I can't read my title, technology education teacher or Menasha High School or my email address or my phone number. And that's the big deal. You give business cards out so people can contact you. So I'm going to click on the Blue Jay and I'm going to turn the opacity down. Opacity is how see-through things are. Think of it as like tinting it, watermarking it. I'm going to set the Blue Jay at about 15% right here so that the Blue Jay is a watermarker behind it. The last thing that you'll notice, and you may not notice it on your business card, but I know that the Blue Jay is on top of all my text because that was the last thing I put in there. So I'm going to click on the Blue Jay and I'm going to go to Arrange and send it to the back so that my text really stands out on there. This right here is a pretty good finished business card. If you look, it has my name, and that's the most important element. It's bold. It has contrast, so it stands out. And what I do are very closely linked, so I use proximity to put those two together. Where I work and how to contact me are all related, so I use proximity to space those together. I have a good amount of white space, and I've used alignment on the left hand or on the right hand side here to make my information stand out. I also use contrast and um, size or proximity with the Blue Jay. The Blue Jay is big, and it's a it's kind of attention grabbing, but it's very subtle and it's now tinted so I have contrast in there and alignment because it kind of aligns to this side. So when you use your business cards or when you make your business cards make sure you're using alignment and contrast and repetition and proximity. These are just some tips to make your business card pretty good.